come to my academy students this is the part third of our lecture series that is the fundamental unit of life okay students we are going to discuss with an important organly that's nucleus the control tower of the cell okay chalo hum fat fat start karenge pehle hum dekhenge the historical background the historically the nucleus was discovered by the robert brown okay Who discovered the nucleus? That is Robert Brown. He discovered the first time. Discovered the nucleus. Ko. Then we see the shape. If we look at the shape, the shape of a nucleus, it is generally round shaped, but it may be the oval shaped, the disc shaped. Okay? It may be the oval or it may be the disc, but generally the shape of the nucleus is round. Okay? This is the structure here. Look, this is the ultra structure of the. न्यूक्लियस ओके स्ट्रक्चर देखेंगे हम न्यूक्लियस इज अ डबल मेम्ब्रेन सेल ऑर्गेनली इफ यू ट्राई टू ओके अगर हम देखेंगे द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस इज अ डबल मेम्ब्रेन सेल ऑर्गेनली इसका मतलब क्या हुआ इट इज बाउंडेड बाय द डबल मेम्ब्रेन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट लाइक वी हैव द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ अ सेल इज अ सिंगल मेम्ब्रेन बट द न्यूक्लियस वी हैव द डबल मेम्ब्रेन सेल ऑर्गेनली okay this is the double membrane cell organelle for example this is the first membrane the inner membrane and this is the second one that is the outer membrane okay the nucleus is a double membrane cell organelle second thing the nucleus it contains the nuclear sap or nucleoplasm we can say nucleoplasm the jelly like substance the fluid filled material within the nucleus is called the nucleoplasm okay sec so third thing the nucleus is a double membrane organelle contains rna dna and proteins okay in this jelly like substance in this nucleoplasm we have the rna the dna and the proteins the ribonucleic acid the deoxyribonucleic acid that is the dna and some proteins called the histone proteins we have in this nucleus okay they are actually floating in the nuclear sap we can say okay third point the nuclear envelope is perforated with numerous pore pores called as nuclear pores if we see the structure of this nucleus we have small minute pores number 1 number 2 number 3 and number 4 these are called the nucleo pores okay the pores are there in the nuclear envelope these are called the nucleopores this nuclear envelope is also called the karyotheca what karyotheca dekhiye jab hum dekhte hain the outer membrane the outer membrane of the nucleus it is actually the extension here the extension of the outer membrane is called the endoplasmic reticulum okay is called the endoplasmic reticulum the extension of the outer membrane is called the endoplasmic reticulum if the ribosomes are present on the endoplasmic reticulum then we call it as rough endoplasmic reticulum but rough endoplasmic reticulum if the endoplasmic reticulum lacks it lacks or absent the ribosomes are absent then we call it as smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay nucleus contains nuclear sap or nuclear sap ओके न्यूक्लियर सैप और यू कैन से न्यूक्लियोप्लाज्म द न्यूक्लियर एनवलप कनेक्ट इज कनेक्टेड विद द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एज ऑलरेडी टॉक दिस आउटर मेम्ब्रेन इट इज एक्चुअली द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द आउटर मेम्ब्रेन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड द कंट्रोल टावर ऑफ द सेल द न्यूक्लियस इन द सेल द न्यूक्लियस इज कॉल्ड द कंट्रोल टावर ऑफ सेल व्हाट डज इट मीन एक्चुअली इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल द Uh, vital activities performed by the cell are all the vital activities for the survival of the cell is controlled by this yes. okay nucleus the control tower that is the reason why it's called the control tower of the cell okay this is the structure of the nucleus which lies uh, at the center of the cell or it may be at the periphery depending upon the animal cell whether it is a animal cell or it is a plant cell in case of the plant cell it is uh, located near the plasma membrane but in case of the animal cell it usually lies at the center okay this is the nucleus now we will talk about the chromosomes what are the chromosomes 
दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम ओके दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम क्रोमोसोम इज नथिंग बट द कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द डीएनए व्हेन इट व्हेन द डीएनए गेट्स कॉम्पैक्टेड ओके कॉम्पैक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ इट अटेन्स द स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दैट दिस कॉल्ड द क्रोमोसोम्स कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डीएनए व्हिच कंटेन्स हेरिडिटी इंफॉर्मेशन दीस क्रोमोसोम्स दे कंटेन द डीएनए ओके विच ट्रांसफर्स द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स टू द ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द हेरिडिटी मटीरियल ओके दिस एंड ऑल्सो दिस क्रोमोजोम्स ऑल्सो कंटेन्स द जीन्स ओके जीन्स आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट ऑन द क्रोमोजोम्स नंबर थर्ड वी हैव द न्यूक्लियोलस दिस डेंसली पैकड मटीरियल डेंसली स्टेनड स्ट्रक्चर हियर ब्लैक कलर इज दिस दिस इज द न्यूक्लियोलस इट सिंथिसाइज द राइबोजोम्स राइबोजोम्स का क्या फंक्शन होता है actually ribosomes take part in the protein synthesis okay jab mrna yahan se nikalta hai messenger rna and it reaches into the cytoplasm where the real action takes place it combines with the ribosomes this mrna and then the protein synthesis takes place at the ribosomes the protein synthesis take place okay functions of the uh, synthesis of the ribosomes theek hai This was all about the nucleolus. Now facts. We'll try to see the facts about the nucleus. Nucleus usually takes up ten percent of the cell's volume. अगर हम cell को देखेंगे, पूरे cell को देखेंगे, उसमें खाली nucleus ही दस percent होता है. That means it's a big organelle. It's a larger organelle. It takes ten percent of the volume of the cell. Okay. Number third, number second. Each human cell contains Around six feet of DNA. Oh, six feet of DNA. How? How it is possible that a single minute microscopic cell, even it is not visible by the naked eye, it contains the six feet of DNA. How it is possible? Basically, the answer to this question lies that the DNA contains certain type of proteins called the histone proteins, which wraps the DNA. okay and attains a structure called the chromosome the chromosome is nothing but the compact form of dna which gets fitted into the nucleus and okay that's the reason why okay it's actually wrapped okay a compact form of the dna and which gets fitted into the microscopic cell nucleus is absent in the mammalian rbcs if you see the red blood cells of the red blood cells of the humans or mammals they lack the nucleus okay the nucleus is absent in the red blood cell of the mammals now let us try to see the functions of the nucleus number 1 responsible for protein synthesis cell division growth and differentiation protein synthesis jo protein synthesis hota hai तो रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इट इज द न्यूक्लियस विच इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस सेल डिविजन होना सेल ग्रोथ होना और सेल का डिफ्रेंसेशन होना इट इज बाई वर्चू ऑफ दिस न्यूक्लियस इट कंट्रोल ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ओके स्टोर जेनेटिक मटीरियल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डी एन एज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट इट स्टोर द न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स लाइक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आर एन एंड डी एन ए डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंड राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड ओके इट स्टोर द जेनेटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन uh okay genetic information in the form of nucleic acids and third one is site for the replication of dna the replication of dna takes place in the nucleus in the replication process we get the exact replica of the dna that is the exact true copy of dna itself